Over the 52 years, we have seen the University Without Walls transition from this incredibly potent idea belonging to a small group of people to the truly amazing school that is the pride of all of us today. It's a celebration of the early founders of Gallatin, two of whom are here tonight, Bella Mirabella and Sherrod Friedman, who were among the faculty who really welcomed me in, who taught me what it was to be a Gallatin professor. I'm drawn to reflecting mostly on my experience at Gallatin, which was a chance to discover the artist scholar model. The history project is an opportunity to look at people who have basically developed that model, and it is the reason why that's available to us here at Gallatin. Gallatin has really shaped the course of what my life has really looked like, especially with the way that it's really taught me how to sort of self-actualize and really find out what it was that was really interesting to me. What does the Gallatin History Project mean to me? I'm a founding faculty member of Gallatin, and many of the materials that you see up on the wall were in my office. <laughs> and Tiana has been a genius in sorting through this material and creating an archive. So it means everything to me, as the students do in the teaching, the research, and just the wonderful aura that is Gallatin. There's no way that I would have the life that I have today if it hadn't been for Gallatin. It allowed me to really exercise freedom of thought, freedom of imagination, and explore and find out who I was and who I am. 50 years is no time at all, but yet it's time that most people have no idea about. So to me, it's just incredibly great that we're still developing it. Having the archivist to do it is an amazing resource. More than any school that I have ever known, Gallatin truly represents the collective wisdom, the collective leadership, the collective endeavor of its constituent members. And I hope that this archive will continue to grow and flourish and testify to the strength and vision of that collective.